Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design for a Formula 1 race. And this is the most requested tutorial on my email, so I'm here. And I'll try to make it as simple as I can so that everybody can follow along. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And also if you want to support me on my Patreon, my Patreon link is in the description list below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. And first thing first, let's create artboard. So for that, go to file, click on new. And from here, I'll just go with 4 by 5 resolution to 300 and color mode to RGB. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And like I said, I would like to keep this tutorial as simple as I can. And I'm just going to use a simple brush for the whole tutorial. Let's drag and drop this image cut out right over here and control t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right over here and right after that let's drag and drop this player image right over here and let's keep it under this layer one let's convert it as a smart object control t and let's make it bigger let's keep it maybe something like this size and let's make it a little smaller control T yep let's let's keep it like that and uh, let's uh, keep it inside a group let's rename it as a image folder and then let's create a layer max and go to brush and let's go for let's go for let's go for this brush and let's make it a little smaller and let's erase some of these parts yep just just like so all right now let's add a gradient and let's change the gradient to kind of this one let's change it to radial and from here let's change the color to let's give the center color as kind of bright red Maybe something like that and let's give the outer rim a little darker red let's go for yep let's go for for kind of this color maybe some more darker yep let's keep it like that and let's click on okay and now let's create a one more layer go to brush again and this time let's go for let's go for this one Let's make it a little smaller. Let's click it. Control T. Let's fill this space. Yep. Let's keep it like that. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. All right. Now let's. After that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Yep, let's keep it all the way to the back. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, something like that. Control U. Let's change the saturation to minus 100. And let's create. Let's click this layer and let's keep it inside a group. Let's rename it as PZ Holder. And then let's create a layer max. Go to the brush and let's go for another brush let's see you know like it's kind of hard to choose the right brush I, yeah, yeah let's go for this one and let's erase some of these parts yep let's keep it like that and let's do the same thing on the bottom Yep. And then let's go for this one and let's erase some of these edges just to give some extra variation. Yep, let's keep it like that. And then let's drag and drop another image. Let's see this one. And let's keep it over here. Control T, let's make it a little 
smaller yep let's keep it like that let's keep it inside a group again and let's rename it at image folder 02 and again let's create a layer max go to the brush and again let's go for another brush yep let's go let's go for this one and let's uh, increase the brush size let's erase some of these parts Yep, let's keep it like that. Or, um, you know what, let's make it a little bigger. Control T, let's cover it the whole size. Go to brush and let's go for a white color. And let's reveal some of these bars right over here. Yep, let's keep it like that and now let's do some color adjustment. So let's start with our main background. So select this one, go to filter, let's go to the camera raw filter. And from here, let's increase the texture, let's increase clarity and texture. Let's drop down the highlights, let's increase the shadows, and from the detail tab, let's increase noise reduction and just a little bit of sharpening too and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this image select this one go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and then from here let's change it to color and then from the detail tab let's drop down the noise reduction just a little bit and let's drop down highlights some more and let's drop down the shadows some more let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this layer so select this one filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's increase the exposure and from the detail tab or from the color mixer tab let's go to the saturation let's drop down the saturation for orange just a little touch maybe some more yellows and let's increase the red just like so and from here let's drop down the luminance for red and let's increase for orange and just a little bit of yellows and let's keep it like that and then now let's apply my favorite lot so go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and let's go with my mood lot so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and now let's add some shadows right over here so go over here create a new layer let's keep it under this layer go to brush and let's go for a general general soft brush let's go with the first one yep and let's squeeze the brush and maybe some more but anyway we can tweak it later so let's let's start by this one yep just like that and then let's create a one more layer and let's drop down the opacity just a little bit and for this one too let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's create a one more layer go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and again let's add some color on the bottom and let's drop down the opacity just just like so 
Uh, now let's add some uh, text. So go over here. Uh, let's say stay fast. Drag. And let's change the color to white. Oh, and by the way, I'm using this uh, straight pro font. You know, let's turn that off. I think like I like uh, this better. So let's keep it like that. And let's change the color of this text to kind of, yep, let's go with this color. And let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E. Let's make a one more copy. Control J. And let's go to the filter and let's go to the neural filter. And from here, let's turn on that skin smoothing. And from here, let's increase the smoothing just like so. And let's click OK. So this is before smoothing and this is after smoothing. And again, let's make a one more copy. Go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and from here let's go to distort and let's apply a diffuse glow and let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and now let's create a layer max let's fill it with black go to brush and make sure the color is white and let's reveal some of that is face glow on this image so just just like that and let's drop down the opacity of this glow just a little touch yep yep let's keep it like that and and that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.